we're good. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge community challenge playthrough as a, as a faction made out of other stuff that isn't usually in Thrawn's Revenge. But in the last episode, in the last stream, we finished off the New Republic and made it up to the Pentastar Alignment's borders. So we are going to turn on Cruel AI during this stream. I don't know exactly when... Uh, but I want to I want to keep getting some building done uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep building and then the closer we get to the end of the building the closer we get to uh, to cruel AI going on which means I think to start us off here at Orinda uh, these ones are dead yeah Banshee's fast and low is dead small but mighty I don't know if small but mighty was dead uh, well let's finish off these guys the Gorath let's get back fish Let's get David and Gorath and Groot the Fruit. Uh, then I think we can also get Audacity and Notice Integrations. And I think we can also afford one more of these guys. Let's get... I think we're going to go for the Chonkiness still. We're going to get Rainbow Flag. Alright. So... Our focus is going to be over on this side, like taking Generis, Despair, and Ord Trassi. Uh, Despair is obviously empty. <coughs> Sorry, I was sanding and my mask is insufficient. Construction. Mm. But I've been on my on my hands and knees all day pulling staples out of a floor that had carpet on it until two days ago. Enemy forces ahead. So it's been fun getting to do some painting, rip up some carpet. Choose your reinforcements. All the fun things that you get to do uh, if you reinforcements on route. own the house you're Order in confirmed. instead of Location confirmed. renting from someone who can tell you no one want to do those kinds of things. I call babe. Star Destroyer standing by. But it's also been very tiring. Star Destroyer reporting in. Uh Okay. Yeah, like, especially yesterday having the whole demonetization yes, issue on. come up on Datapad for those of you who uh, may have seen any of that. Uh, where I woke up yesterday morning at to an email that had been sent at 5 a.m. telling me that uh, Datapad had, uh, after a manual review, Datapad had been determined to... Uh, and I cannot stress enough the, the man manual definitely happened with people involved uh, where they decided that I was using other people's content without significantly transforming uh, and I, I was just it was like no you know what you're you're not going to be allowed to, to have your job anymore uh, so luckily normally it's like up to 14 days to get that uh, reviewed again by like after you appeal, but Eck has a, as a larger channel, he has a partner manager and was able to look into it a little bit faster. So, it was very scary. Like, oh, here's just a, a way to not pay for your house anymore. So. All right. No units there yet. I don't really know how many units they have. How many units do they have? Penistar Element has slightly more than us. Maybe once we have Ord Trassi, that's when we'll uh, when we'll get back to or not get back to Cruel, but put on Cruel. We'll get Nita kind of big gun. We'll get ordained by the Sea Ruby Conclave. Uh, I am going to end up double building some of these starting units again because I can't remember all of them. And for some reason, the starting ones don't count towards the build uh, build limit. So, mm. uh, but the black art, I'm going to try to avoid it, but I'm not 100% sure which or which. So apologies if I'm cheating a bit. Don't want to get shut down. Uh, and hopefully I'll have a chance between now and Friday to actually update the... Uh, the, the spreadsheet in the, in the description which shows all the units we have, but right now it's a bit behind on what's alive or dead. Because uh, again, been too much stuff to do recently. 
I think this should be a good amount of units. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. We can take Generis, and then we can uh, we can move on to Despair and take Lord Trassy. Then we turn on Cool. Perfect. You think the planetary defense iron cannons would be a great combo with UNSC Super Mac? I mean, shutting down enemy any enemy ship is always nice, but Super Mac is. Kind of just like an, a hyper-velocity gun, so kind of just putting the best of both worlds in there. Uh, let's get his holiness in here. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting about that, but at least it's not a custom skin, so I don't feel as bad about that. Uh, a plague tail. So I think the area that we're going to be most struggling in is heavy vehicles as we go on here. The heavy vehicles, uh, we had fairly limited amounts of them. I'm not sure which of the Mandalorian wheel tanks was done, or if, like, or was killed. I think two of them might be dead, but I don't 100% remember. Okay, let's get you over there. And maybe let's uh, try to move into here. Ready. Ready. Destination set. Well, I'll have you go over that way. Here, you're faster than that if you just pull around. Jesus. Not hard, people. Who gave you a license? I mean, I don't have a license. Need to change my address. Uh... I've had my, my, in Ontario, we have uh, three levels of license. So you have your learner's permit, then you have the, the G1, you have a G2, and then the full license is just the G. Uh, and I've had my learner's permit like twice, but I, one of the reasons that I like being in Ottawa over Niagara is like Niagara, entirely car dependent. Ottawa, only mostly car dependent. But as a kid, like I was super into cars. It's just... Still think they're neat sometimes, but not how society should be built. New coordinates. Like growing up, I was like we lived out in the country, so I was like riding dirt bikes, and then like my dad was a mechanic at a golf course, so Moving he'd bring home golf carts, and if the golf course thought it was Moving. not worth fixing them, my dad would fix them, and then he'd oh sell them. Uh, Moving like out. the, his workplace allowed and encouraged this. Uh, wow, so wow. we had them around the house, so we'd like drive them Old everywhere. That was a lot of fun too. There's like, I, I see if I can find the picture, but I'm like 10, 11, and I'm, I was tiny. Like I was really small for my age and I was driving around a family friend, uh, when I was like three feet tall. So I'm like a little dot on the seat sliding around as I'm driving through the yard. It was... I mean, I find it to be a very funny picture. Uh, okay, there's the planetary shield down. Then... I, mean, I don't need to... I don't need to use a bombing run on the... Planetary, or on the turbo lasers when we have a bunch of infantry around. That's what the turbo lasers were against. I've I posted some pictures on the Discord before too, but uh, my cousins and I, uh, and some of my friends sometimes as well, but mostly my cousins. My one cousin would come over every weekend, and there was. Like, my family lived on, like, three acres, and then beside that, my uncle had a horse farm uh, that was, like, 15 acres. It used to be one property, then it got split off uh, a long time before me and my family moved in there. Uh, but in the woods behind our house, we built this, like, rickety-ass fort. And it had like three buildings that were four feet wide by four f or by eight feet long and eight feet tall. And we had like two floors inside and then one floor on the ceiling with like drawbridges between the buildings. The death trap. Over there. 
Do I have Haven units? Yeah, it's, uh, this is all different types of units from across the mods. Put together partially through random chance and partially through the dev team of the mods picking things that they thought I'd like or hate to use. And then community members being able to pick and name those units. I, I I want to see if I have that picture. Okay, I think I've definitely posted it on the Discord, but I think I also still have it on Facebook or something. Who uses Facebook? Okay, uh, they had fewer units here than I was afraid of. I think I am going to use bombing run on that guy. Just to... things a little bit safer for us. Okay, because you're blowing that up and now... This should get out alive. There we go. So I'm not sure where the power gen is. I think it's over here. But who can know for sure these days? Who is this? This is Burn Rubber. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the power gen. I think that's worth bombing at this point, or bombarding at this point. Okay. Because, like, we're going to have a lot of damage out of, uh, out of our artillery to get into the bases. And you take cover. It's a bit of a crapshoot right now on which infantry we're, we're going to be keeping or losing. Hopefully, point five will finish the, uh, the spawner stuff, which I've, I've talked about this a little bit in a Fall of the Republic episode that you guys are yet to see. But it's in the category of like some of the plan changes or half-executed changes where like we have the plan and some of the assets, we're just sitting on it for a while, it's just not in the category of things that are not in the range of things that make sense to test. So then there are certain things that are like mostly done, but you don't end up seeing them in game for quite some time often. Unfortunately, some of the uh, Empire Reborn characters or Restored Empire characters in that category as well. This guy made those models a long time ago, and I'm really excited to have them in because I love the Jedi Academy characters, Jedi Outcast characters, but hopefully point five. Lost Ghost Company. Planetary control Artillery online. You are not supposed to be in that fleet. Coming around. Alright, finally. We have kept, we've gotten despair, no one is taking it. Construction complete. Alright, that means well. System control. I, I am doing that. Acknowledged. Uh there we go. We can stop seeing that uh, the Pentastar alignment is moving through it. Constructing. And we can get a lot of these going. Because Lord Trassi won't actually drop us below our infrastructure requirements. Uh, but I do want to put these ground units on Generis so that no one goes and takes Generis. But now we can invade Ord Trassi. They do have a structure, because I waited like 20 seconds too long. I don't think that existed. But that's the only thing they have here. I think that's just a garrison. Just you take a look at Ariato Authority. I've had this continual bug where randomly the UI completely disappears. This only happens with Ariato Authority. Uh, that means that there's a framework crash that's a known type of bug. But for the specific case, we'd have to know exactly what's going on in the game. If you have a repeat, a save that's right before it where it's repeatable, then we can take a look at that and that can help us find some of the underlying causes of that. But it's not a faction specific bug per se. That basically means that something somewhere in all of the Lewis scripting of the mod is going wrong. 
Uh, so it's not a specific UI bug. Just because all the scripting that like the, is being displayed to you relies on the underlying coding where those systems are actually operating. Uh, on the Discord, or if you don't have Discord, you can uh, like upload it somewhere and try to leave it a comment on YouTube. Hopefully not get uh, blocked by it. But on Discord, you can post it in the bug report section. It'll let you upload the file. It did, JT. Uh, JTSG. Want to make sure I say the the Not letters the right. Will. Almost said numbers. There they that are. would be wrong. Artillery online. Ready to go. We're going in. Like 7 p.m. last We're night. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna do a quick update video. Let people know that we're out of the woods on that at least. Proceeding. If you're not on the Discord, that's discordgg loses. Oh no, oh no, oh you. Oh, don't, don't explode on those. Oh, uh, I think they're gonna live. What do you desire? Alright. You. You can deploy. Affirmative. In other words, on what? On the. Uh, on datapad being demonetized yesterday. That should be over. This is our last one. Yeah, that was, uh, really on a day that I was trying to, like, get caught up on a bunch of work, uh, and also get the Thrawn's Revenge beta started, which did start last night at, like, 1 a.m. I was really not, uh, not helpful. That ended up being quite a long day. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donation. Very appreciated. It shall be done. Was such a stupid thing to have happen. And Open fire. having them say it was a result of a Attack manual target. review is I copy. that was that was something. Reporting. So so the way it works, you get uh, the way you appeal it is you upload an unlisted video yes, and explain your process for making. Uh, for making your videos. So, you're supposed to talk about... The, the request is that you talk about how you follow the community guidelines or the partner program guidelines. Uh, which is very difficult when you don't know... There is no indication of, like, what videos they're talking about, the specifics of what they're saying you're violating. Uh, so, it, it's a very stressful thing because there's no one you can talk to. Uh, you just get, like... Oh, we lost Squad 96, Wolfpack. But there's no one you can talk to. There's no outlet where you can actually communicate with YouTube directly. The closest thing is the, the Twitter account where, uh, where you're basically just told, wait for a response on Studio or for an email. Uh, Studio being the, the kind of like behind the scenes app you use on YouTube to, to run your channel. Uh, so like you're, you have five minutes to respond to these non-specific allegations and just say all the way it's essentially like being told we think you're breaking the law we're not going to tell you how when or why now give us examples of how you're following all of the laws it's like what the fuck <laughs> how am i supposed to do that <laughs> uh but yeah so i up i recorded a video of that like a 10 minutes after i got up i looked like a complete gremlin in the video uh and when it got reviewed, so the video, I still have it unlisted up on Datapad. I don't want to delete it just in case they use it. Like they send you an email saying, thank you for your appeal. This shows, this helps us understand how you go through your creative process. Uh, like maybe there is a, a hidden way that they're like looking at the videos to see the, we did turn on cruel, uh, to see the, uh, the arguments you're making. But if I look at the video right now, it still says zero views. So if they're actually watching it via the platform, then they didn't look at it at all. <laughs> okay. There's a list of the units in the mods for Empire War. Uh, so there are some pinned Steam discussions that have some 
uh, some of that information, but there's not the flank. super exhaustive of everything. Oz also has some pinned uh, some pin charts in the FAQ Moving thread on Discord. And there are the unit... If you go... I'm going to save first. But if you go... Into here... Not here. Here. The air unit tree. Uh, there will be a ground in space set up for... At least the, the core mechanics of your faction. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I'm not playing with the standard faction right now. Not the best example of anything. Complete. Moving to destination. Um, I am going to get a Rin spy because I want to spy on to Yaga Miner. We've given them a nice little boost in economy. Okay, they they've gotten up to. Oh, that's independence. And Star Lemon. Okay, they've gotten up to 25%. There we go. Okay, Agamar, I think, is our next port of call here. Because we do want to get up to Gravlix Med. So, let's get you in there. It'll be a little bit before we start seeing the effects of the of the cruel being on, especially because they're so active in the western part of the, the galaxy. That's approaching. why we're over here. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. We'll put in Spirit Express. We'll put in what we've got here is a failure to communicate. I love the communications battle cruiser too. Order document. Sharpshooter. Guardian and Star of Justice. Destroyer here. Cadalbe reporting. Battleship here. So the other side of the galaxy has some uh preparing for combat. Has some conflict between the other two factions, but also does have some shipyards for them to to fight over. Choose your reinforcements. Get Phoenix home. You only want me for my fighters. Freak fire and potato. Potato. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Weapons charged. Those torpedo launchers must be destroyed. Right. Transmit orders. Ready for orders, sir. Targeting. Ready for battle. Changing course. Send the bombers to the back. I'm on them. You are not what I wanted to select. Bombers at the ready. Roger that. Acquiring okay, well, they're leaving. Excited for forever. Well, we got uh, two of the last Mandalorian, or two of the last space units assets are done. In the last couple days. They're Mandalorian. There's some statting going on for them in the last Republic ship. And then the Sith might end up getting one or two more things. They're probably going to be the most sparse faction in space, at least for... Uh, for the point one release or complete. point four release of RR. Constructing. Revenge. Revenge. Construction complete. Okay. So. That is gonna be probably home to. Ooh. Constructing. That. Uh, it'll be one of the easiest planets to actually get a uh, a second tax agency at. Building under construction. So how are we looking for infrastructure? Not fantastic. So with that stuff coming in, uh, we probably want to wait. Beginning construction. to me open. Or just for some of our structures to be building. Construction complete. So, uh, Moving into get to Yagamire, and that'll show us three planets on the way, which is very helpful. Construction complete. 63, 75. 
And that's still 189. So that's actually not as bad as it seemed at the start of the game. The AI has nothing different going on with their market rules. The numbers in Follow the Republic for the KDY stuff is actually quite high. Invasion commencing. Okay. We're ready for a fight. Well, also the the AI has the static fleets, which are activating for AI use when they're not supposed to be right now, and that can sometimes. Be where you see some early ship usage from. Yeah, Sons of Alderaan, and let's get up there. If you turn on Cruel, though, that will always activate the uh, the static fleets. Reinforcements on route. Cool out. We shall handle this. Your orders. We've captured an abandoned mining facility. The enemy has been spotted. I do need to double check if my changes for that ended up actually going out in the hotfix. They were supposed to. I didn't push them to the main repository, but I was building them off of my local changes. So I have to check again. Okay, uh, how close can you get without exploding? You're just gonna explode, so don't. you don't need to be here. Okay, the Triffids, come on in. Uh, party bus. Boombox. And Mac. Get some combat bonusing. How often should a ship enter the market? I'm pretty sure it tells you the chances in the market. But, I mean, it's random, and it's EAW's version of random. So. New coordinates. Road to that. Ready. Ready. All right. En route. Both my CPU and GPU are only being used at 20 to 25 percent, but I'm getting like five to seven FPS in the main map here. How does 64-bit update affect your mods? Uh, well, make sure you don't have compatibility mode or anything on like that, because that can make the 64-bit version run worse than the prior versions of the game. Uh, Ready. But also keep in mind that percentage of utilization doesn't tell you much with Empire at War or older games because 64-bit update does not mean multi-core support. Uh, so your CPU is always going to show lower because you probably don't have a single core CPU. EAW can still only use one CPU core. Uh, and EAW is never going to use your whole GPU. Lag in Empire at War is almost always, on modern computers, going to be CPU-related, and you are still limited to a single core. Let's get those. Transport here and I think we might be able to even get that if we can take out the yes, sir. planetary ready. shield, or yeah, the planetary shield. They don't have a hypervelocity gun. Alright, can you guys ready. get over there? And you guys can just stand on this. Alright, now... I don't think they have... Yeah, they definitely don't have many units in this area. So once we have uh, a bit more... I think Akuria, even just the next planet. We'll pause. We'll do some building and set ourselves up for the next push, but by that point, the PA is probably going to have a lot more units coming in. Because uh, we don't want to leave the way to Generis open. Like, Gravelix Med is the goal, but we can't uh, we can't push to that without overextending a little bit.
right? Well, the game being single core or multi core isn't just like flip a switch somewhere from like one core to six and just write in a new number. It's how the game, like how the engine processes things. It's a much deeper set of changes. Uh, no, it is the the chances for the shit market are not in the XML complete. for the units. It's entirely Lua based. There is a in the scripts folder. You'll find uh, the library functions complete. or like all the the stats for ship markets, favor rewards, all that stuff is data driven there. Okay, so it's going to be you. And Ortrassi, we can tax it a little bit. We'll get an ion cannon. We can still filter them through there. Um, I build you Building and started. you. You already have a defensive structure. Or no, you'll be able to get a defensive structure. So I can't get that yet. Wish drill. I may as well build more of the trade ports, because realistically, we're only going to have so many areas that that can be done. Like, it's not like there's a, a huge glom of four or five connection planets just waiting for us to show up at them. So there's no reason not to. Oops, you already have a... One... Nantan, I already built one at. Reese construction. There we go. Yeah, Affinity just tells the game, or tells your computer, which cores you want it to run on when possible. It doesn't tell them you can run on more than one. Look, we're... Ooh, we're actually getting close to... Uh... Building canceled. Pop cap, so I don't want to... I don't want to cancel that one out. Might actually want to get another one. Once we have a bit more money for that. So we are gonna buy. Who we'll put soup in my Vehicle cruiser? In Not from the ma. Always Vehicle late to the show production. and catch Vehicle me if you can. Production. There are, in fact, at least a couple new Imperial legitimacy groups, including some. People surviving from a whole other time here. Tactical battle imminent. No, it like setting affinity on multiple cores doesn't mean it's using those cores. Enemy it means it fighting. will use one of those cores that you have specified. All right, we do have, uh, we have some friends this time. We're probably going to start running into some ion cannons sooner or later. Or some hypervelocity guns, no ion cannons anymore. The Republic's gone. If you overclock, then yeah, you're going to get more... Uh, more processor speed out of the one core, and that's what matters. But you also just want to make sure that there are no other settings changed. If you're getting consistent, like if you're getting worse performance with the 64-bit patch than uh, from the 32-bit version of the game, uh, like noticeably worse then that would generally be an indication that you have some setting wrong somewhere with the game itself, with the EXE. Uh, 
but there is still just the underlying fact that Empire at War is an old game and can't use all the amenities provided by modern hardware. We try to optimize what we can, and there's always changes we're making in that direction for what the mod does, but at a certain point, like, there's only so much we can do there. Uh, let's just get you guys exploded in there. Okay, power to weapons. What's going on that? I need to go and check what the uh, what the poll and discussion results were on Patreon for the next campaigns. As the I think the new Re or not the new republic, the republic campaign will be done. By, definitely by the end of the month. And then this campaign as well, we're, we're towards the end. Yeah, with a lot of RTS games, once you're... Like once, it's, it's kind of like resource versus resource. So once you're at a certain point, you have all the resources and you're fighting fewer and fewer resources. So they get solved in a way that's different than uh, like if you're playing an FPS game where it's like a linear thing and you, the enemies are getting stronger and stronger, maybe you have cooler weapons, but it's not like Master Chief is getting a whole army that he's building up over the course of Halo that then fights like the dwindling six dudes left that the Covenant or the Flood have. And that's what things like Emergent Faction events and all that are for, like Crisis events, and I know Remake does have some stuff like that as well. Uh, and that's why you like tune the AI certain ways, but then it's like balancing early versus late. And if you have, no matter what bonuses you're giving a faction or an AI, if it's 99 planets versus one, then like you need 99 times the resources to really make a difference there or to make any kind of impact. And then no one wants to fight, like, a 10 million stack at the last planet. They're just going to say, oh, I've won. Bye. But. If. Moving to destination. I got to make the Empire at War roguelike mod that I've Look, sir, it's them. vaguely dreamed of. To get a, a 10 minute video out of. And make $36 on, like, 8,000 views. Did it all be worth it? Uh, luckily, Brian, they have been resolved. So I still have no idea what their problem actually was, but it no longer matters for me personally, although uh, it is still going to be a problem for many people who weren't lucky enough to have someone who could go and ask it to be expedited, which is really unfortunate. Okay, you're going to deploy, because you're within range to, to get those. That's a lot of stuff in here. Reporting in. Okay, you take cover. I don't know why I'm so hesitant to just get up there. Got another... Turbo laser turn in there? No, it's just, it's just those guys. Oop. Is that gonna work? Nope, that's... those are dead. I only want to make sure that I don't lose multiple. Because then they're... then I'm really in trouble. Get around there. Yeah, I'd like to hope that there's some sort of flag after it happens once falsely, but... Because it's not like it's someone, 
like a bunch of different groups claiming things. But what the f that's they know? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's not like X situation where he'll have a bunch of shitty music labels that uh, have someone under their label do a remix of Resonance and then they claim like every instance of Resonance. Because that's like a fight with a bunch of different people repeatedly. This is at least YouTube being dumb itself. So maybe they have like some kind of thing that marks you as safe for a while. Because they, they have uh, for, if you upload a video that can be monetized, you get asked to, or probably any video, you get asked to mark whether it's suitable for everyone or whether it contains like um, adult themes or specific objectionable content that might be relevant for advertisers. And if you rate your videos accurately compared to their determinations often enough and for a long enough period, you get marked as like reliable for that. And they'll go with your rating uh, as soon as the video is posted rather than having to take some while, some time to process it. Uh, so I'd hope it's something like that on the back end as well. Oh, you tried. You tried. There we go. I need to make sure whatever's shooting on that. Okay, that's shooting into the wall. That's what I was concerned by, whether they'd be killing us. Might need to. I want to get some other help in here, but. That's a capturable one. Let's see if we can just walk up to there and maybe get some help against the base. Reporting. And as it is, that, uh... Not helping them very much. Okay, I can undeploy you and maybe move you in a little bit. Feel the greater amount of Maldrude is exceptionally financially weak. Is that intentional? I mean, financial strength or weakness is entirely a, fa a function of where territory is. So that's entirely based on a given map. Like, it's not like their structures or economy is weaker or different than any of the other factions, other than the Huts, which have, like, an entirely different economy. Lost 502nd B3 Ultra Battle Droids and Ronin 141st. System command. At your command. Uh, Alishan... They're, they're kind of getting closer in a way that I don't appreciate. So I think we might need this fleet to start being active as well. Because I'll take this army over there. So yeah, you just go over there and you supplement them. We're mostly gonna on this side build up. Oh, they're really they're taking stuff over. Let's get another endurance. Let's get got freedom. And because we're gonna start building up for another fleet anyways. Uh, we'll get space balls. That's gonna be important now. We'll get ads blocker against the odds.
There is not an extra way to supplement their economy, no. Because then that would apply equally on other maps where they have a stronger start. And it's really not weaker compared to other factions. Like, they don't have a Coruscant, but other than one or two planets that have significantly lower income, like, again, it depends on what exactly you're comparing, because they also have access to planets they can take pretty early and more effectively than some other faction that are just as good financially. Uh, nope, the Vong War is not covered yet. What have we added in the last seven or eight years? A lot. We shall be there shortly. 2016? Just like, I don't think even 2.2 was out in 2016. How did the move go? The, so, we've been doing some painting. This Today I ripped up some, or we ripped up some carpet before. I was ripping up the, uh, the remaining nails and the staples and trying to take off all the, like, tack strips and everything. So we're getting some stuff done before our stuff is actually in. Because uh, we've got movers booked for Tuesday. And then we'll be fully in there. We got Shadow of Ascension, a tag battle cruiser that was stolen by one of the last Night Sisters, Jibril Trace, and a ragtag band of misfits. Modified with numerous additions, including mass driver cannons and the remnants of a CIS foundry, the Shadow of Ascension serves as a mobile command center and factory. And then we have... Don't blink, Vice Admiral Octavia Yeltek. And I'm sorry, I put those in a terrible position for the emblems. Former officer of the Alsacon Planetary Defense Force, hardened by years of, of combat and political infighting. Frustrated by discrimination and red tape, I'm going to hold my finger over this one. Uh, she and her crew went AWOL and sought out a new path. One that would truly value her skills. Order confirmed. Coming around. Your command, sir. Well, uh, Look looks like we're way. not going to need too much Choose more for that fight. We can also get in Guten Tag. I need to split them up a little bit more. I need help. I don't need three Tags command. in here, and these are the only fleets we're going to be allowed to have. Uh, let's put in Hugo. We'll put in. Am I cannon yet? As well as notice We're integrations, on audacity, Gregor's, White Rustland, and Groot the Fruit. I mean, we we got most of these things down, right? Changing course to intercept. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Our target priority Percentage is the laser cannons. Reporting. Attack. Endurance on station. All right. Fire at will. I did enjoy so far. Bombers reporting in. Torpedoes armed. I've got them in oh, my sights. Please. Yeah, after uh, Shadow of Ascension and Guten Tag, I think both had Destroyer some... Here. Fire. Early previews on ships that weren't supposed to use their models. It was mostly on ships where I was trying to overwrite the uh, the base model, so I didn't need the model line in the code at all, and yet just still included it. Oh, does the AOE actually work properly on me? That's what I want to know. Because that should have actually been fixed by the patch, one of the patches. I mean, it's all been downhill since Luke fucked the computer sky, so. Uh, yeah, so we're... I don't know if we're even going to take Leon Selm. I think we're just going to take okay. Ancyon. Construction complete. We don't need Hold to up. claim the ground here. We just need to try to take some PA territory and keep them, uh, keep them in a cage. Despite all their rage, they're still Here's just a cane in a cage. Let's move out. Moving into position. Reinforcements canceled. Orders confirmed. You know, a Peltis kind of does look like a bullet with butterfly wings. 
Not really. Eh, maybe like three percent. Star destroyer standing by. Cannon down. Direct fire on the launch bay. Star destroyer reporting in. Long by 4.0. I mean, at past point five, guessing what there's going to be when, and like even what version numbers we're going to go with. Meaningless. What if we go from point five directly to 4.0? Who knows? Hey, Spirit. Oh, I, I just got very scared by that uh, chonkin. We conquered Dalron. Never even heard of that planet. I hope they're happy there, though. Okay, well, let's uh, let's take Dalron. And that seems to just be a ready for battle. Very structure again. Okay, get on over there. Let's get some INTs this time. Let's get the Mad Sons. We'll get um what now? Ah, uh, let's let's uh let's get those close to the middle. I want something faster. We're gonna get Virgin Rubber, and we're gonna get a Plague Tail. Transport here. Ready, sir. Copy. Awaiting your orders. Yes, sir. Understood. So this seems like a good Awaiting place orders. for artillery on this one. Moving to coordinates. And maybe put some hailfires back in. This is missiles are us, and also do givers. Transport ready. So if we just sit at that, eventually we will win the battle. But, I mean, I don't think they even have many units here. So they're not going to be opposing us too much. Yeah, what are you going to do? You have one garrison. There you go. ATTP... Come on, try to try to run into the into the juggernaut. Try to use your exploding ability. Be brave enough. Be the change you want to see. I'm hoping with playing around with uh, point defense a bit more on ground, we'll see if the auto point defense on some of the existing units is doing its job. Probably need Adamar. Because then we want them to not have Dalron. Okay, you were already dead. You can get Holy Diver after that. Although Roltier could uh could maybe do some of this work for us. So I'm just gonna get enough uh money back to build that shipyard. Although Ord Trassy already has it. So let's get Ortrassi building Holy Diver got freedom. Unit. And that should be done Construction first. Complete. Construction mm. complete. Rinda will get ourselves just cruising and endured. Because we're going to be splitting these guys up into uh, different fleets with different tags. We've got too big of a tagline. All right, let's go to Adamar. Because if we take Adamar in space, we can get to Dalron before they build anything in ground. Uh, yeah, because they're really on cruel. They're now starting to starting to expand a bit more. They're in this direction. Choose your reinforcements. Oh crap! Move. Order confirmed. Coming around. There you go. What a champion. Okay, we just got to get through that first. Uh, let's get MI Cannon yet. Let's get 
You go over here. I, I said damn I cannon yet, are you? There you go. Uh, also notice integrations. Backfish. Elvin's Wrath. And Tender, please. I mean, I'd love... I'd love to fulfill that wish, but, uh... Oh. Okay, Epic Game Store, I don't need you giving a notification that never goes away. Is that the Epic Game Store? What is this pop-up from? Get out of there. I don't want you on my screen. Okay, it's gone. So I've also been trying to think of... Uh, ways to change up the community challenge for, for like other styles of Empire War playthrough for future future attempts. And to get back to my roguelike thing from earlier, I was kind of thinking rather than building ships and going through a map normally, I'd have like a, a more roguelike style of map where like you're starting on a planet and then it like branches out in some places, but it's a path you're going down with increasingly big fleets. And rather than building units, with each planet I take, I get a packet of ships. So by the end, we are by like halfway through, we have all the ships. And it's just seeing how far into that map of like increasingly large enemy forces we're able to able to get. Which could either be really fun or really dumb. And I'm not sure which. Ooh, we got uh, some of the legitimacy heroes are starting to show up for the PA. Enemy forces ahead. Oh, I know you guys couldn't see the pop up, but part of, I have to I have to stream of consciousness narrate everything I'm doing. Reinforcements so, canceled. Hazard of the job. We're moving out. And when I so before. Before I moved back in with uh, my parents when my mom got sick, uh, I had, I was living on my own for the first time, like no roommates. I had a one bedroom apartment that I I was still paying for while I was living with my parents, so I wasn't even saving any money on that, kind of lame. Uh, but that was when I had just started the channel. And there were a few months, there was like two or three months between uh, yes, finishing my last job contract and when I actually moved back home. So there would be sometimes entire weeks where literally the only time I would talk was if I was going to record a video because I wasn't like there weren't as many people around. Uh, I didn't go out all that much. So I was like I'd try to talk at the start of a video and I'd just like <laughs> until I often moved on with my life. Battleship standing by. Invasion commencing. You did branching paths that off of different units, like the Swigan Imperial, that way you get Emperor Than. Well, I'd still, for, for that conception, it was still gonna be like community challenge stuff. So I'd be working towards the same packets of units. Uh, so it'd be pretty much whatever people submit like part of the idea is that i'd be able to ensure that i'm like there's a specific point in the game by which i'm going to have the opportunity to use everyone needs units uh without worrying as much about like skewing production okay get in there and We've located the enemy sensor array. Form up. It would be easier for me to release uh, a playable version of that for people to try after the campaign as well, because like it's not the kind of thing that I think would be particularly good for like a released mode. Uh, part of it would just be the novelty, but for uh, I, for the types of units, I could just pretty easily replace that with. Uh, the generic ones for people to try because like I obviously can't release this without significant reworks just because of how the unit choices work and everything 
if I build a bunker, what units does it, it spend? Uh, the field bases I have are the CSA ones, because I built the faction off of the CSA. They're generally my go-to for the community challenge faction building. Okay, did they actually... They did finish a structure right as we were coming in. But that's unfortunate. I'm not building a field base here. I'm gonna move you up a little bit further. See what that actually is. Okay, they actually do have a good amount of units here. So we'll have that captured by the time we're done. There we go. Uh, and let's get. Wait, we're fighting alongside clones. And. Oh, nice. Ooh, shit. Nemesis, 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 nemesis. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, I need you to be over here further. I think that'll actually be helpful. Is the nemesis? Well, hopefully you don't get caught down on your way. I don't know if they have an AA turret in the way. Could have got some money. Oh well. Let's go. How may I serve? Yes, Commander. Well, I should I should finish off that field base over here. I have enough coming back to help you. Did that do it? No, they did have an AA turret somewhere in there to clip it. Ready. Over there. Brigade standing by. Fire at will. Rolling out. Attacking. Moving to position. Is there a way to add it how many credits you and other factions start with? You have to go into the files and modify it, but make sure you don't just modify the XML side because we use the XML starting credits to determine the era. So there are a lot of people that'll go in, find the first instance of like starting credits in the code, and then wonder why every time they're starting in era seven, that is why. Uh, so don't change things willy nilly. Luckily, we do have on our Discord a channel where people, if they want to make specific sub modding changes, uh, we have a pretty active section there where people can ask their questions and usually get instructions on exactly how to do things. Okay, we're going to be seeing a decent amount of units, but I think we've killed a lot of them. Let's move out. Let's go. Okay, let's try to get up to oh, these turbo lasers. This way. Attacking target. Uh, ooh, they're gonna get surrounded a little bit. That's okay. I'm just gonna take out this structure. Even though it's sad to use the orbital bombardment on something that we've already already tried to kill. Another bombing run. Okay, we need to kill that before they kill our artillery. Don't let them. Don't let them stay there. They're they're winning. Don't don't do that. There you go. Copy. Moving to position. Moving. Okay, now we now we move up farther. And one of you, you're alone. You can go and get that. Might actually save the company. On my way. Reporting. Attacking. Yes, sir. Uh, am I going to have to use the bombing run on this one? Why they don't sneak through and get that? Oh, they didn't. Yes, to. Oh, they did. They did sneak Target. through to get that. 
É bom. Alright, I'm gonna need to build up this army a little bit more again. Oh crap, yeah, this is That company might be done for. Where's that AA gun? It might have just been other units that were in there. Just give me a target. Tank brigade ready. Affirmative. Destroyed. Firing. Damn. Excellent maneuver. New coordinates. Here we go. Let's move okay, out. just get over there. Charge. A lot of what we have is just artillery at this point. Ready for duty. On Let's my get way. you back over Road here. Let's go. Take point. Uh oh, watch out. Form up. Keep going. Ready for attack. Awaiting orders. We secure the landing zone. Copy. This way. Rallying to target. I mean, they're not either super squishy or super OP. It's just if you spam anything, it can be OP. If they fly into a single AA turret, they're dead. Like anything, there's things they're good at and things they're bad at. Rolling out. Right behind you. Yes, sir. Uh. Unit destroyed. Oh, they got it. Yes, commander. Ready. Scanning target. Speaking of, let's get the AA. And. Armor ready. Movie to fire. Targeting. Construction salary. And a big range. Attack. I think this is still one of the oldest maps in the mod. Ooh, still two juggernauts in there. Okay, we don't have... Really underestimated what they had there. Damn. Oh, what do we have heavy vehicle-wise left? Dorothy is the best girl. I needed all these guys. Cruiser online going. And I'm gonna try to get it complete. before they can get construction. Complete. Another one. Another structure. We shall handle this. Your orders. Heading out. Choose your reinforcements. Okay, burn All rubber right. and a plague scale. Then also his reinforcements. Support. Awaiting instructions. Honor and glory. As you command. There they are. Blast them. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean with Tie Fighters and Zen 95s there. I think, honestly, I think you might just be a lot less experienced with ground combat, so you're making a lot of assumptions about how things work without as much to base it on, to be entirely honest. Okay, deploy, because then you can grab those. Ape and infantry versus inch ground units? I... what do you mean? Waiting orders. Blow them away. It shall be done. Copy. I copy. Keep going. Uh, let's get the mad sons in here again. Reporting this way. Yes, sir. Firing. Selected. Last radius check. There you go. We lost Aqua's faithful, but system control achieved. Infantry is the one area where I'm not worried. 
I'm not sure if they had an ion cannon on Adamar. I think they did. They had a hypervelocity gun there. We well, can't let them go too far with that. Apen units are expensive for what they can do on the ground compared to Zinja's unit, the black and red guys. The cost metri metrics are the same for all factions as usual. Like the way those costs are determined are consistent. It's not like there's a an unfair modifier placed on the Hapens compared to the other factions. Confirmed. Move out. Artillery online. Standing by. Uh, if we can take Adumar. Ooh, they're at Kamar too. And Raptors are among the best infantry in the game. Like the most versatile. Both the Hapens and Zinj are infantry focused faction. They both have really good access to infantry that can fill a lot of roles. Uh, let's get Super Duper Cruiser. We'll get. Uh, let's go to the other planets. We want to get MC-30C, we want super fast, super shooty, floating magnum, CO-3CM. Uh, do we want a Korea to get more stuff? Constructing. Who's all upgrade the star bases? Beginning construction. So what we'll want to do is put you on here, and you guys are going to go to calm. Ooh, damn. Things are starting to get scary again. The enemy is approaching. Well, again, cost is determined directly by stats. If something costs more, it's because it has better stats. Or higher stats. Uh, I don't know if this is... A, not a great idea. I, just, I think I might have to retreat from here, and I'll send in the uh, the other fleet. I think that's the safer option right now. Just to make sure we don't lose anything yet. Right away. has been spotted Choose your this might be the first time since the Hapen's release that I've heard anyone say their infantry is too weak definitely a new one just missed good job losers and any I can come in like we got the two tags here shadow of ascension can back you up uh, you go to Rune. Notice integration. Audacity. Uh, I think having the Interdictor here is a good idea. Harrow is revenge. Elvin's Wrath. Uh, I'm gonna space these out how I want. David and Gorath. Backfish. Ender, please. Group the Fruit. Rustland. Gregors. Advancing. 30 sec, and 
fast forward. So while these are Corvettes, they are anti-ship, so we can't expect them to do too much to, to fighters. Not all Corvettes are anti-ship, but this is also a fleet that doesn't have many fighters to take out, even though there is the one Secutor. Comlink active. Your command, sir. Endurance class Roger. at your disposal, sir. Ready. Cruiser ready. ready. Commander. Reporting in. The lasers are our target. Well, again, there's no per faction change there. Like, each faction specifically has different types of units that they'll have or not have access to. But, like, there's nothing that is... Like, it's not like the infantry for the Havens are inflated for some other reason, unless they're a specific specialty thing outside of the core costing metrics, which basically never happens. Our target priority is the laser Move out. And it's not like the 500 credits worth of tank here gets you less than 500 credits worth of tank in another faction. Certain things may or may not mesh with your personal play style as well, but it's not like one faction is going to be flat out weaker for the amount of stats that it's getting for the amount of credits you're putting in. Yes, Commander. And again, if you if you're auto resolving all the ground battles, then I don't know that you really have the experience with a lot of them to really get past or get into the specific strengths or weaknesses of the units. Awaiting your command. Attack More commences. enemy craft. Your command, sir. We shall be there shortly. Reporting. Commander, the lasers are our target. Stop there. Reporting in. And yes, let's get these guys Roger into the secular. Roger that. Right away. Endurance on station. Orders. Yes, Commander. On my way. Form up. Give the word. Send and save the ready. Fire sequence engaged. Destroy it. I got one on me. Squadron here. Ready. Attack that target. Attacking target. Copy. Endurance. I can't see your spoil, sir. Uh, I'm let's get the two. missiles the out there. I've been hit. I copy. Our target priority is the laser cannon. Fire. Star destroyer comms open. Yeah, like the the house the house units of the Havens are a lot more specialized, while the Raptors are a lot more generalist. Like the the Havens are infantry centric, but in a way that has uh, different types of infantry covering very specialized roles, other than the like the main house guard who are a lot more generalist. Uh, but the Raptor troopers are going to excel less at any specific job, but are going to be at least decent in most situations. Uh, I'm a little bit... Oh, that's that's not even mine. I thought that was my Venator. Where are these coming from? Did they jump these in? They must have. So maybe... Maybe this is a fantastic time for us to be alive. I don't like the hypervelocity gun killing me. That much I can, I'd say, I'd rather them not do. But if we can take out a lot of what they managed to build up in the last little while over here, and hopefully not lose too many units, or any units, I don't think we've lost any units. Y wing standing by. Give the word. Form up. Destroyer here. Target Our target lost. priority is the laser cannon. Firing. That's gonna be... I can't see him. A little scary. Don't shoot at the bombers, you Come on. You know better than that. Alright, we need to get someone to go over to that. Ready for battle. Your orders? Let me get all of our bombers over there, because I'd like to win before they have another hypervelocity gunshot come in and... Reporting. Maybe kill Shadow of Ascension. Star Destroyer standing by. Mega ah! Form up. Lasers locked and ready. Excellent. Shot. On station. 
Weapons, clear the skies. I mean, if you don't like ground combat, you don't like ground combat. That's fine. But Bombers at the ready. As far as specific in. unit interactions or specific strengths and weaknesses of different units, uh, like there's a lot more going on than is immediately obvious. So there is a lot that is more dependent on specific usage. So having less experience with all those is going to make it uh, harder to see what's going on or where some of them might be better than might initially appear from how they might be used uh, initially. Okay, we lost a lot of the assassins and Lukashenko. Lukashenko dying. I mean, I would take that. So that's like half of our assassin corvette situation. They claim they're about to attack Anseon. That's what that fleet was for. Nice try, guys. Construction uh, I'm going to put you guys over here. Just because I need Order them. I need this fleet to be over at Kamra. Let's move out. Frigate standing Moving by. To destination. Coming around. And then we'll be able to hopefully invade both of these before they can build them up anymore. I need to take Anseon before another week rolls over, because this should be our Grace Week. But after that, the Hypervelocity Gun is going to start taking out some, some units. Oh, I didn't have a Pathfinder because they died. But they sh they can't retreat anyways. Star Destroyer reporting in. The lighting looks yes, nice. Commander. So maybe being around here longer here. is a good idea. I'm on it. Station. Like one of the things that happens a lot, and I'm not saying this is your situation, uh, just something we see fairly often with people. Like the idea that like no one wants to play ground combat is not a not a unique or rare one. Uh, but for people who try to play it but try to rush through it, uh, like one of the most common things people will do is like build ten ATATs and think like, oh, these are the biggest, most powerful boys. Uh, so if I just spam them, that'll get me through faster. But then what they end up finding out is, like, spamming just the one unit there is not going to win in most situations. It's certainly not the most efficient way to do it. So by trying to, like, rush through it, they're ending up causing themselves more grief than if they engaged with it a little bit more and kind of planned out what they were doing. We tried to figure out the inner interactions a bit more. But I do think, like, mods early on really didn't help the the dislike of ground battle. So, like, in base game, there was a lot of shit. Like, the uh, MPTLs in heavy factory garrisons under base shields. That was some fucking bullshit. That was enough to make me want to stop playing the base game campaigns. Uh, but there was a common, like the most common thing mods would do when making our own maps. Uh, and this was like every mod would do this when they made their own maps. Uh, and just any map makers would do it is make the map as big as possible. Cause like bigger is better. And it was a bunch of, we were all like 14 doing this. So that's just what happened. Uh, I'm being too lazy with this battle. I'm trying to talk. Uh, but so then you ended up with these massive maps that units would take 10 hours to to get across, and battles would turn into like hunting down units because there weren't any mechanics to end the battle uh, earlier. And like we try to help that out a bit with the uh, like. Tuning when the AI wants to retreat helps a lot, uh, but also victory points and stuff, having some other caps on how long battles can go. Uh, but like when you have a 10 by 10 patch map compared to the the base game sizes of like 5 by 5, you, you end up trapping players there a lot longer. And it's it's not even just that it's bigger and hard and like takes time to walk around you just can't find the fights anymore because they're all they're all spread across everywhere so like a big part of the improvement of ground battles aside from like all the rebalancing that was done 
a couple of years back and like the, the new stat systems to make things more consistent. Uh, it has been like specific standards for what is and isn't allowed in maps that will develop for the mod or put into the mod or like what's allowed to stay. Uh, where like size is much smaller than it was before. Uh, there were a lot of maps that like we split in half to keep them in. Uh, to keep some of the parts of them that worked, but the other part of it was just making sure that maps aren't just like these, here's a node, here's a node, here's a node, corridor, corridor, maybe another corridor there, like where you're not really telling units to do anything, they're just kind of going through this area, and you either find an enemy or you don't, and you either have the ability to kill them with the stats you have or you don't. Weapons and fire. So like ha making sure there's different areas where units can actually reinforce or flank or have stuff happen beyond just like can't can't win, can't turn around because it's a long corridor. Ready to receive orders. Need to kill those banks of turbo lasers on the Venator. Draw their fire. Come on, report it. Eh. And obviously, none of it's perfect. Like, sometimes the rules can be bent for specific purposes. Sometimes stuff will slip through sometimes like it's not possible to to fix an old map exactly what we want but like the the general application works out and has been a, a significant improvement and especially with like newer people coming on the team like as much as quality is the goal uh when you're trying to train up someone new in a specific way to do things for like a hobby then there's sometimes a benefit to like letting that quality on the first thing slide a little bit as they're learning and have it be an iterative process. Because like the same thing's true with textures and models where we're a pretty big team and there's always people who within the team who like want to try out a new discipline. So sometimes having like a model or texture or a map that comes out slightly worse uh, in the short term in exchange for like having someone be able to get that experience and have the feeling of like, oh, this is my work. This is something new I've made be in the mod. Like, it's not always just maximizing quality necessarily. Uh, lost 30 sec, backfish, fast fella, and no disintegrations. Okay. Adamar is the, the one eat. Get start a minion, we'll get fish snatcher, fish stick. This is almost done with the first one there. Uh, we can get sort of house scones. Well, there's no reason to, to queue that up when we're still waiting on those to finish. So let's get sort of house scones over here. And H five forty six, strike cruiser fixer upper. Well, you're a you're a fighter tender, so you're not going to be fixing up too many strike cruisers, unfortunately. SS destructible though, queen B. Not sure, where we have any other shipyards? We have one here. We'll get Jeff. Important to have Jeff. John. Okay. Chicken tender. Mama mule. Uh, CT 24. Advice on how to play the Hudson Fall of the Republic. You've been clapped by Republic Fighter Spam. Well, make sure you're getting your minstrel yachts in there. Anti fighter is key. You need more than just two or three if you're coming up against a fleet that has a lot of fighters. But you also have carriers like the Voracious, which has a metric ton of fighters. And I left out an expletive there, but the expletive was there in, in spirit. And make sure you're using those. It's possible to build fleets that have very little fighter support as the huts, but you have a lot of options that have a ton of it. 
Okay, I think we're gonna go to Kamra before we go to um, Anseon. Like we need to go to, to Anseon before the next week rolls over, but I just want to get here before they build anything else. Ten plus light minstrels. Well, keep in mind that it's relative to popcat. So, ten light minstrels will be okay, but it's also ten popcap worth of stats. And look at like any other ship that you're getting in there. Give us a signal. So, if you're going against very fighter heavy fleets, like there's going to be dozens of popcap worth of fighters and bombers on there. So, if you only have ten dedicated to controlling those fighters or putting out your own fighters, then like you're unless you're really specifically positioning them fantastically well, uh, which is possible, but it's not going to be it's not going to be a guaranteed win at that level. Yet. This is really not good for them. Damn, they turned out to be at the wrong place. Transport here. Target acquired. I think that's a lot of their units here. Ready and reporting. Transport ready. Commencing attack. Okay. Weapons armed. It's like two or three companies. Or there's three attack. or four. Okay. You need to undeploy. You need to deploy. And now you deploy. Oh. That's uh, over water or covered pass ability. Ready. Targeting. No, super dank. No, that's sad. Armed and ready. Got him. Lost Bob Om is holding this in. Yay's doom givers. System control achieved. Acknowledged. I think. Just to ensure and do this, I've got to bring over some of our ground units. Might take too long. Right away. On my way. Frigate standing by. Frigate standing by. Nope. We just got to get in there fast. Damn it! Invasion commencing. So close. So close. For Hades, your vassals stand ready. Okay, let's get over there. Oh, is this one of the passers that painted? I think that was painted. Because one of the one of the things We're the last patch actually did was give us give the ability home. to do proper rivers and we texture paths. We are ever loyal. We don't have many maps that take advantage of that yet. Destination acquired. Probably use a little bit more uh, fine edge Ready. granularity. Choose your reinforcements. Okay, party bus. Set. Uh, plague tail and mag. On my way. By the consortium's honor. We'll Fortune. see if we can get to the next landing zone as well. Armed and ready. We shall handle this. Reporting in. Uh, we'll put artillery in the back here. Dorothy is the best Moving girl. What are your and Juggernauts, just go up to that landing zone as fast as you can. At your command. Affirmative, sir. I've oh, kind of been orders. slacking on the careful copy. carefulness that's needed in this playthrough. The last couple battles. I copy. Destination. Gotten overconfident your with orders. the. Move, soldiers. Proceeding. Reporting. On my way. We've victories in the zone. east. Inbound. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't charged. know if they've built any. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. 
transport here. Moving out. Beast defenses that'll Fine. use those. Transport ready. Ready. Here. They have hyper velocity gun and planetary ready. shield. Ready. As you but I don't think they actually fire. I don't think they're using the that for anything. Wait, no, they are, they are, they are there. Not gonna be the most useful to them. So we'll Reinforce put magnetrize the there. And we'll put ordained by the sea ruby on there. The enclave. Not enclave. Armed and ready. Right away. Reporting in. Copy uh, that. Okay. Heading out. What are your orders? Going. At your command. We're gonna do co-op with Andrew Hester again. It's been a long time since I've talked to him, actually. So. There haven't been any plans. Awaiting orders. Copy. Still hoping right. to do joint command with Eck and Charlie someday Coming again, after. but we'll see how X2 goes. Understood. Uh, I mean, we can put in burn rubber on this Moving side. Out. We and fire. Are you almost Ready over here? Orders. You are. I copy. Beautiful. Open fire. Okay, this actually shouldn't be too bad because they don't have many structures with garrisons. Like they spent a lot of it on. There's the base defenses for one. There's the two ground or like planetary shield Ready and the hyper velocity gun. Right away. Buddy, you're. Reporting. Go to there. Let's go. In. Keep going. Yes. Sir. Won't be able to do that until we get to the planetary Transport shield here. down there. This way. Move in formation. Uh, let's put in ham spam. Let's deploy by. you. Reinforcement point contested. And we might actually just be done the base before we get the planetary shield done. Transport ready. Over there. Certainly before the hypervelocity gun's done. Miso love big explosions. My liege, don't let up. My favorite tagline in Halo 3. Juggernaut ready. Ready. Okay. Destination set. Uh, are you both over here? Ready. You are. Proceed. We can we can go. Alright. So I'm probably gonna get the other ground heroes as well. Planetary control achieved. Have some money for that. You can get some taxes. You can get some taxes. You can start getting these. And I'm not sure how much that's actually impacted their their standing. 34% from 29. They're still getting there faster than we are. Maria, you're almost built. Or Trassy. Construction. Uh, maybe I'll cancel the Valor for now. And where are... the infantry. We're gonna get 219th Brigade Colonel Mathis Rowell, an old friend of Admiral Yeltik. Mathis has spent the last 20 years chasing pirates, warlords, and crime bosses to the ends of the galaxy as a freelance mercenary. On the promise of something greater and for old time's sake, Rowell answered a call for a favor, and now leads the former 219th Osakon Urban Assault Brigade, the Admiral's personal troops. Requesting assistance. And we'll get bank Requesting two. I think the Eternal Honor Guard, yeah, they're also a hero. Uh, the might of one's military must be an equal measure matched by the splendor and awe one gives unto others, both friend and foe. Devastating might matched by refined elegance. We of the Sovereign have both in spades. Requesting and assistance. dank two is a heavily modified B1 battle droid who serves as one of the officers of the Shadow of Ascension. It was upgraded by the Shadow of Ascension's chief robotics expert, Dank the Gank. Uh, I think we need more of the infantry. So let's get our... Let's get... How many dinosaurs do you think are on this planet? We'll get... How many dinosaurs do you... Oh, that's... Uh, that's... Recruitment canceled. Recruiting oh, right, because that's not how that... It, because the, the ground ones, I forgot. They stay on the thing until they're finished. Never mind. And... Enlisting soldiers. That was probably great for the audio mix. You're all welcome. Uh, the last two we'll get Toolbox and Incredibly Hard Tender. And Dragon's Tooth. And we'll start being able to get some of these Novas, which is actually very helpful. 
Uh, Durace is the next one. Damn, I wonder if taking Nero on isn't a good idea, though, too. So, with our next money... I'm actually, I'm going to cancel Dragon's Tooth because I want to get a sensor. Or I want to get a Rin. Rin Spy. Frigate standing by. Okay, keep up. You're going to go in here. Take us in. And we do need to save up for our... Um... Yeah. Aramadia too. Heading for coordinates. But that won't be too expensive. Endurance class start. at your disposal, sir. Okay, Rin Spy, go All to Nero right. on. Your orders? Right, they actually don't have much there, but they're full on with bases. Capital shipyard. Alishan, not to be confused with Alisakon. Coordinates received. Moving there now. Teen. Um. Okay, that that should be some money we can get in a second. Ancion is already building some money. You can get some money that you're already getting, and then you're going to be able to get some money soon too. Building. I'm going to upgrade stations for all of them a little bit and then we'll go back to bill bringy right away we're getting our last well maybe we'll get little goober our armadia as soon as possible reporting so that'll be what two more six that should that should be two more cycles. So I'll let that happen. And you're gonna come over to her. Two fifty five. We've only got one or two that are like actually full. And they're fighting back and forth now. So if we're gonna do that, this is a good time for it. Okay. Ooh. Eh. Battleship Move over there. Uh, did that drop to a reasonable amount? That did not drop to a reasonable amount. Moving out. At... Building cannon? started. Get an ion cannon. Beginning construction. Enemy fleet approaching. Building cancelled. No, I wanted to. I wanted to do this the fun way. Damn. Uh, do they have an interdictor? They have five interdictors. Wait. Do they? Yes, they have five interdictors. Um, okay. Building cancelled. Okay. No problem, Matt. See you later. Thanks for watching. Incoming! Why five interdictors? Because they have, like, almost a thousand pop cap in this fleet. They're not all going to be on the map at once, but there are going to be... There's at least one there. Uh, so, do we have any fighters? We do have some fighters. Star Destroyer reporting on me. Okay, I think. Yes, Commander. Reporting, advancing. Yes, sir. Setting course. Yes, Commander. I think we might have an out. And that out is out. by bombing just Order the just the interdictor. Engage target. That could be bad. 
I'm gonna send all of you guys further back and try to just put the tankier stuff up front. Um, we just need to kill one hard point. I'm on him. Copy. Okay, that's not right actually the direction. Move it out. Yeah, well, you, I'm gonna to try to out. slam you through. Let's move out. Let's go. Squadron reporting. Y wing standing by. The K wings have that as well. So there we go. Draw their fire. Watch the crossfire. Disabling gravity well. orders. Enemies in range. Okay, everyone just go for that now. Incoming. And maybe we'll be able to kill hero in this. Attack reporting. I need help. I've been hit. We only need one hard point. Target those gravity well generators. Come on. I think we're we're good there. Retreat in progress. Where'd he go? I'm gonna take that over the risk of killing them and having something else jump in, because we've only got so many engines. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, might be a mistake. What's the black tag? So this playthrough is made out of uh, units that were named and requested by viewers, including at the patron level, people at the, the higher tiers were able to request custom skins for their named units. Construction complete. Right, and to do this the fun way. Let's go. Tactical battle imminent. You're getting in there, that's fine. Um System lost. If we can trap that We've come across enemy units. That would be the fun way. If we get trapped on the way to that, that's not as fun for me. We got a backlit map, I think. Generally avoided, but not fully eliminated. We're just poorly lit. Poorly lit, not backlit. No retreat for you. If you did it to me, I'm gonna do it to you. Ah, uh, that could have been that could have been Attack. really horrible that battle. So I'm really glad we had at least a reasonable amount of fighters there, or else that we we had no no recourse. Uh, but we need to make sure that their fighters and bombers aren't allowed to just do whatever they want. There are restrictions they have to follow. They want to be part of this society. squadron here. Copy. Ready to commence. I copy. Fire at will. Get behind them. Reporting. Attacking. Torpedoes armed. Like I, I'm, I'm doubting our ability to actually win. Target. At this point, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how long we hold out with our with our units. Because we're almost at the end of our capital production. Uh, like once we have the Aramadia, then there's like, the two or three other. Keep going, awaiting orders. Two or three other capital ships will have. Firing. Like the Peltis. Awaiting your orders. And I think that's it. Engaging the enemy. Weapons charged. We are at a point where like a significant portion of our remaining fleet becomes buildable with each week of credits. And the PA only gets uh, bigger as we go through that too, so... It is important for us to get our reps in. Construction complete. See if they have... No, they didn't have a ground to space cannon. I'm about to do something potentially stupid though. 
Not in this battle. This battle, I'm only doing smart things. Reinforcements oh, there, there you go, buddy. Eh, well, eh, no, I won't do the stupid thing. I won't do the stupid thing. We are going to get a bunch of garrisons jumping on us. This is one of the remaining capital shipyards. They have... And part of the hand has Psyka. Pedestar has Neroan. And... I think the Pentastar, or yeah, I think Pentastar has the trick as well. Over there. Attack. Star I'm not putting in the interdictor because if they decide they want to leave, I'll let them have that uh, that option. Yes, Commander. Which they might take after we have killed the secular. Intercepting. Awaiting your command. Your command, sir. I got one. Yeah, you get around there. Commander. Like if we have Nero on. Attack. So what I the, the potentially dumb thing I'm thinking about doing is reporting in. Attacking Nero on, on the ground, which means sending our ground units through enemy territory Open that fire. we can't necessarily get back through. Roger that. Here they go. Moving to coordinates. Locking on. I got one. Target locked. So we actually didn't lose anything there. I thought we lost a couple Corvettes on the way through. But we didn't. So I suppose you guys can go to Alshan. Alashan? And... Well, let's have a look at what's left. So we're... We're going to be building... In the next fiscal week... Lil Goober, and then these guys are like two weeks worth of credits, and we'll have all of our capital ships after that. Uh, what's our heavy heavy yard look like? Um, Constructing unit. And there's more quasars at the end there. That's going to be useful. Uh, but I'll just. Pressing that, because I just want to see what's Your after them. Progress. I'm not actually going to spend these credits yet. Okay, so it's not like it's Unit the end of the line for our lighter frigates, Unit at canceled. least. Unit canceled. All right. Well, this is a this is a tricky little proposition for them. Which one is it that's up there? It's not Q trick. They have. They not have one back here? Another shipyard? Like there's still Yega Miner, which no one has yet, but the PA is probably going to be eyeing. So is it just Yega Miner and Psyka that we don't control? Huh. No, Jameis. Jameis is there. I missed that. But the. The plan will hopefully be to invade Alashan and then Neroan. And we'll be able to ideally get Adamar back at that point. But this goes out to Pole Major just being the only one there. They're still fighting each other in this area. But the Empire of the Hand is going to get stronger over here too. And as long as they hopefully will be fighting each other on that side, that would be that would be choice for us. But I think we're going to leave it there for today's episode. Next time, we will be getting the, uh, we'll be getting the Aramadia and continuing down that line of hopefully getting all of our, our units in construction or under construction. But thanks for watching, everyone. The plan is to do a stream on Friday. It'll probably be a shorter one. My sister is coming up that night, uh, and we're going to be doing, like, moving stuff all weekend. So I'm going to make sure that we have videos to go out, but then... As of next week, I'll be fully into the house, 
Uh, I'll be back to a more standard streaming schedule because I won't be spending all my time going back and forth and running to catch buses and not be late for the streams, even though I was late anyways. Uh, but yeah, so thanks again for watching. Have a good one, everyone, and hope to see you next time. Bye.